Right, I'm on my way towards St Mary's, but basically it's not open now. Um, it could be open in the morning. They might even have a service. Most people do on a Sunday, but a lot of churches have to rotate now because they haven't got enough parishioners. <laughs> I came here once and we just found all the gravestones have been fenced off from everybody. And um, what's this? This is a park, I suppose. That's oh, that's just a park. I'm trying to find my way around everywhere, really, and exploring a little bit. I keep half expecting to see Tamazin walking through there. There, with her dog Jet. Jet. Little houses here, look, would have been here in the Victorian eras, wouldn't they? These would have. They could have been to do with the stables, there's a big horse in place. Yeah, see, look, here's some gravestones already, look, here. See? All these old gravestones. I'll come and take some pictures of them in a minute. I'll walk round there. Should we walk round there first? Or do you think this church is open? I don't expect it's open, do you? This is St Mary's, by the way, and the Stuckville's use this church quite a lot and um, some are buried here I believe so we just have a little look round this is St Mary's of Newmarket Newman, there's a John Newman there So these are very old, aren't they? It's more than likely some of ours. But that burial plan, once again, very, very difficult. Very difficult. Now, you never know, tomorrow, this place might be open for a change. And I can come and have a look in. You know, I'm just trying to see if I can see any... Isaacsons or anything like that. We've got to remember the Isaacsons and the Pars were in Newmarket. It isn't just the Oaks and Brooks. It's Isaacsons and par, um, um, Pars. There's all sorts of other names that were of relevance here. That looks like a school to me. Backing onto the church. Turner Hall, whatever that is. For all we know, some of these big stones could be ours. Um, could be. I've got a feeling it is a, it's not a redundant church. I don't think so. I can hear some music. Here's the St Mary's churchyard um, and it's quite likely that we've got Stuckville ancestors, Isaacsons here. Um, the only way to find out is to get the burial plot. This could have been an extended part of a graveyard once. They always put car parks on graveyards for some reason. <coughs> Yeah, I suppose you could get in close, you could see some of the names. I've got a feeling that some of the Stuttville, the later Stuttvilles, were buried here. But without being able to get in and look, I can't see no names. It's difficult, very difficult. Isn't it? Yep. 
I got a feeling there was oh, most of these were stacked up against the wall once, so they had the idea to put them back out. Good idea. And they ought to let people in to read them. Probably inside the church they might have a book where they've recorded all the inscriptions. Now that would be really useful if they did that. Because that would allow family tree people to find their ancestors more easily. Wouldn't it? Here's another long stay car park here, look. So eight o'clock tomorrow, they're open in the church. Right, I'm just going to turn off for a minute, take some photos. Thank you. 